Okay, welcome back. Now, in our previous video, uh, we talked about how to create this custom adapter. Uh, in this one, we're going to see how we are going to use it now because as you can see here, it says cast status adapters never used. So this is an adapter that I'll be providing for you guys and you can reuse it in your own uh, uh, apps. Uh, okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So we're going to use this status adapter in our homepage adapter because we want to use it to adapt um, like we said here in our status adapter, we're going to adapt um, the user and the new status into uh, the list view. So, one thing to note is uh, from parse, you're going to need this two um, permissions, and to do to, to use them, you just copy them so that it will work. Otherwise, you'll get an error, and then you just paste them in here outside of the application here out of the manifest <clears throat> and then so now you're set to use the adapter so let's go home and we're going to on create so show user the home page status so this is where we're going to show the status so we're going to use something so part to query items from parse parse provide a very uh, good class and API to do that for us and uh, that is in parse query that's in queries actually and we use this queries from parse to perform uh, searches so for example if you want to uh, query uh, an, a class or a table called games game score uh, where the player name is equal to Damstevoski, you just say query that find in background. Use find in background after, of course, calling and uh, calling the class and uh, setting your query parameters, and then you say find in background and use the find callback, and then there will be a list. Uh, the uh, the return uh, there will be a list of uh, of uh, scores or whatever you're looking for. And that's how it works. So pretty simple. So we are going to just simply uh, copy this, or in this case, I'll just write it down for you. But if you need detailed explanation about this, uh, you can just visit parse.com and you'll get all the details. Uh, so let me just go ahead and show you how to use it. So we're going to say parse query, parse query, and it's a generic type of parse object. And we're gonna call this query, and then equals to new parse query, and then we're querying the class of status here. Okay. Here, we're call, calling this status and we'll say um, we'll just qu uh, query dot find in background without any set, any query parameters and we'll say new find in background callback and now we'll have list of parse objects we'll call this status objects and then we'll say if So if e equals no, then success. Else there was a problem. A lot user. So here on success, this is where we say. Uh, I created a protected list of parse status and you're going to say m status is equals to status object or I'll just say status yeah status and then from here we can just simply say uh, to simply get get, get that, that uh, working for us and seeing a list of items, 
simply say we now call our adapter status adapter and we call adapt we call it adapter is equal to new status adapter and here we take a context and we're going to use the context of get list view dot get context to get the list views current context the list views context and then we're going to give it objects to use it in the adapter to the adapter to use and then we're going to say set list adapter which is available when you use list activity and otherwise you'll have if you use a, um, another activity you're going to say you have to use uh, uh, something else so for this case let's just run this and see if we have any parse any any comment any status or users or something so that's all I have let's wait for it to run and there we have it we have a list of objects a list of status from pe different people. Now, let me update our status and let's see if we get anything new. So we say update, and then this is good work. And it's update and success, and you take it to the home page, and it says this is good work from Ronnie. And now let's try to arrange this in order where it's this, the, the, the current post comes to the top. So we just simply come here to query, and we set a parameter simple. Just say in between your query dot um, order by descending. Then we run it again. So we have the status coming up at the top. And if you update it again, hi there, or Udemy is great. Update Udemy is great, shows up at the top. So, and we can log out and create another user if we want. Test user, test doesn't matter, and then test user. And then now let's update. Hi there, I am new here. Update. And so in the next video, we're going to see how we're going to add an icon next to test user and how we're going to change uh, the colors of those. So up to this point, congratulations and uh, see you in the next video.